Today we are proud to share the first member of the Ultrascale Plus portfolio, the 16 nanometer Zinc Ultrascale Plus ZU9. This device combines the programmability of Xilinx FPGA logic with the powerful heterogeneous multiprocessing subsystem. Within a week of receiving these devices, we have already had great success in our initial validation efforts of the transceivers, the fastest and one of the most challenging systems to bring up on any new silicon. These Ultrascale Plus MPSOC devices have three different transceivers. The MPSOC specific 6 gigabits per second GTR, the mid-range 16.3 gigabits per second GTH, and the high performance 32.75 gigabits per second GTY. The device we are now validating has both the GTR and the GTH. So let's take a look at the performance we are already getting out of these transceivers. In the PS lab, we have the GTR transceiver being validated on the Ultrascale Plus transceiver characterization platform. This transceiver is located in the processor subsystem and is closely coupled to the USB 3.0, SGMII, PCI Express, DisplayPort, or serial ATA controllers. For this demonstration, we are interoperating with an Intel CPU over PCI Express Gen 2 by 4, showing both the transmitter and receiver functionality. You can see the characterization board is connected via SMAs to a PCI Express expansion card plugged into the host motherboard. In Windows Device Manager, you can see that the Zinc Ultrascale Plus device is recognized and working error-free, and on the laptop, the control GUI for the MPSOC shows that this is running Gen 2 by 4. This means that within a week of receiving silicon, we have full transmit and receive functionality through the GTR and the PCI Express controller. In the transceiver lab, we have the mid-range GTH transceiver, which is located in the programmable logic of the Zinc Ultrascale Plus family. We are currently using an iBERT design and the Vivado System.io toolkit to bring up and analyze the performance of the GTH, and things are looking awesome. Here we are running 16.3 gigabits per second, the maximum rate for the GTH, into a DSAX to evaluate its transmitter performance. We are already getting excellent performance without much tuning. You can see total jitter and random jitter are low enough to meet the most stringent optical or backplane standards. Backplanes are one of the most challenging systems for a transceiver to work across, and the GTH can operate over backplanes up to its maximum rate of 16.3 gigabits per second. Here you can see our lanes running 16.3 gigabits per second over a backplane with 25 dB worth of trace. Again, using iBERT to perform the testing, we can see that we have error-free performance down to a really low BER. Performance like this is great to see out of this first silicon, especially when we use the integrated eye scan tool to look at the margin we have on these links. These wide open eyes show that we have a lot of margin, even over this challenging link. This is all within just a few days of having this silicon in the lab and we hope you are as excited as we are at how quickly the Zinc Ultrascale Plus has come up. For more information on the Zinc Ultrascale Plus and the rest of the Ultrascale Plus family of FPGAs, please visit xilinx.com slash ultrascale.